small um, and you get the variance is high level like this after that you can compute the standard deviation to get this one so on what four hundred dollars you see three hundred eighty six dollars so this is the standard deviation which we denoted by sigma remember sigma and then we know the mean we know the sigma the mean defined to be uh, somewhere there yes this one em in this value okay we got this one to be 20 dollars you see and the uh, couple here the two parameter mu and sigma tell you how to estimate the profit actually <coughs> so the money you expect to to pay to a single customer will be like this and you hope you can get this one but actually with the sigma here then the value you get will not be like that okay remember so if i did not the profit to be some value okay the cost down here so the value here I did not buy V for instance the profit value you get so last time we argued that actually the profit can go from this value $30 minus Sigma then it also can go up to something like the value $30 plus Sigma you see and this one bigger than 400 and this one about 350 but negative number because 30 minus 300 something okay so the left hand side you get here is minus 350 and when we talk about the profit but you get the negative number so that means you actually not get the profit you lose the money right okay so that give us the final conclusion that where if the sigma is very large compared to the mean mui then the variability or the risk is very high okay so this is the last example we done last time uh, i ask you to uh, carry out this exercise yourself mm -hmm. i don't so on that So right now I have counted and I see from my information that the total number of students still not yet meeting 30. Right now up to only 30, 28 students. So not good. Huh? You should listen, you should go to the classroom every time. Because when we move on, the theory becomes very complex, mm, believe me. So, when you do the final exam, you have only one and a half hour, or maximum two hours. And you have to solve many exercise, many problems in a limited time. Limited time, so you have to know well your theory, okay? So the first part we done last Tuesday, actually talking about this, uh, review of this one. Uh, mostly we talk about the Bayes theorem then the new theory we done last time about random arrival you have to keep in your mind the concept the range the density the mean and the one I just reviewed for you because 
every detail here will be employed when you study the new lecture today okay so now we move on to the second half of lecture 7 where you study the probability models very important nowadays in many applications not only for computing or software engineering okay. you can apply in virtually every area just because the uncertainty exists everywhere okay. so we have a few models in the first step there are more than three right here but we have only one hour or two hours so we have to limit to the three well known the most popular one we start from the Bernoulli model we move to the geometric and then we study the binomial depending on the application you have to choose the right model to apply right so for instance uh, the last one binomial here you can you immediately okay uh, the geometric most that you see in data science in general and you know we don't see right now we will see later so we begin by defining the first model Okay, model 1, I can say that the most simple probability model. Uh, this one was invented by Bernoulli, the son. Actually, they have the father and the son and uh, the two famous scientists. Uh, they are mathematicians from uh, Switzerland. Invented in around 17, the, the, the second half of 17 beginning of the 18th century okay so we define a random variable we call a Bernoulli variable uh, we denote it by capital B like this if and only if the range you remember we define the range by this one to get shorter notation because usually if you write the range you have write the full name like this which is very long you see so if I write this one this is the full notation for the ranks of B and we have B with the short notation like here so if the value you get from this random variable only two value 0 and 1 so we define that one to be the binary in the future you will see that uh, 0 and 1 is just the symbol for the notation the notation here 0 and 1 will have specific meaning when you go into a particular uh, scenario in the real life so in the future let's say in uh, business uh, general that means the business if you know fail in their work and number one, that means they are successful in their work. But when we move to uh, medicine or traffic engineering, uh, where you define some Bernoulli uh, variable be like this, then zero will be, you know, dead, and number one will be survive. That means alive. So the symbol here, it just has some abstract meaning. But the, it, uh, the, the more simple Okay, we can understand I zero and one, but be careful uh, depending on the context. Then we can uh, define the density. We define the density, you know, by providing the property of the success because we define number one mean success. So the chain. Sorry, uh, what do you say? Do you hear me, uh, Men?
Do you hear my voice? Bye.